Hey guys, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. So I asked over on my Instagram today to ask my daughter and I some questions. We're doing a little cooking video. We're going to, actually we're gonna do a cooking and a DIY. So this is the cooking portion of the video. So if you guys don't know already, I actually have two daughters and one of them is actually working on a paper for school right now. So she'll probably help us with the DIY portion a little bit later. But this is my daughter, Megan. Megan is about to be 19 on May 30th. And so she is a freshman, just finishing up her freshman year in college. So we are going to cook from, we're gonna cook from our new Magnolia Table Cookbook. They are, there are so many amazing recipes in this. We're picking a super easy one, doesn't even require any baking. We're gonna make Joe's peanut butter balls. We're improvising a little bit because we didn't have all the exact ingredients because if you guys have been to the grocery store lately, you know everything is very limited. So going back to, and on Instagram, I asked if you guys had any questions. We'll kind of do it as like a DIY, or not a DIY, a Q&A. So um, I have some questions that I'll pull up on my phone that we'll kind of answer as we're going along. And yeah, that's about it. So we will get started. We'll start making them um, and then we'll just answer some questions as we go. Okay, so we're gonna start with a question first and then we will start cooking this recipe. So I also, so I asked today and I asked the other day, so to film a Q&A, one was with my daughter and the other one was just a Q&A, but we're gonna combine them all into one and I'll try to answer as many as I can. So one of the questions I got was, how are you doing with everything going on in the world right now? Um, I'm getting a lot of house projects done. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm doing. I feel like my husband and I have been constantly just doing stuff around the house, um, just trying to you know stay home as much as we can and trying to use the time so that we're not just sitting around like eating and not really doing anything. We are actually been very productive and gotten a ton done. And so, you know, we're doing okay. We're just, I'm kind of ready for, you know, Hobby Lobby to be opened back up, but it's okay. I totally get it. I understand, you know, people are working hard to keep us safe. So we're home just, you know, being safe and trying to follow the rules and just get the essentials. So, you know, it's okay. It's not obviously ideal for anybody, but it's what we have to do right now. So how do you store all your seasonal de decor? And can we see a video on that? I'm definitely going to do probably like a vlog. I don't see, I don't really need to do a whole video, but my husband just reorganized a lot of the basement, putting a lot of my seasonal decor away. And then I have a section for just like home decor also that I, so that if I want to just switch things out, that's not necessarily seasonal, there's a section for that too. So definitely in a video this week or next week, I'll include that in and I will show how I store all of our seasonal and regular home decor. So that will definitely be coming up. Generally, just to answer a question on how I do it, I have everything is in plastic bins or totes and I just label everything. So generally, like if it's Christmas and it was dining room, I'll try to take all the dining room decor and put it in one tote and label it dining room. That doesn't necessarily mean it'll go back in the dining room next year, but I'll just, that's just how I put it away. And then every bin has a piece of blue tape and written in black Sharpie, um, like Christmas dining room or whatever it is that's in there. So we're gonna start with doing this recipe and then we'll just answer some more as we go. So I know we need to line this cookie sheet with parchment paper. And then we're gonna be using our stand mixer and it, it's fitted with the paddle attachment. And we're gonna be putting in four tablespoons of butter and two cups of peanut butter and two cups of powdered sugar in this bowl. We're gonna put four tablespoons of butter in here. So we're gonna add two cups of peanut butter in here. I'm just using the natural Jif. I like to spray my measuring cup with a little bit of cooking spray. It just helps the peanut butter come out a little bit easier. Where do you find your inspiration to decorate? Um, I actually find a lot of inspiration on Pinterest, 
but I never like to, if you guys know, I don't like to do exactly what I find, then I have to switch it up and somehow make it my own. So I'll get the, the idea of what I wanna do from Pinterest, but then I always end up switching something usually because I just like to add my own twist to it. But I generally find most of my inspiration from Pinterest. What is your job outside of the house? Uh, I work for an online nutritional supplement company. Um, I work in the accounting department. So I work part-time in the mornings, Monday through Thursday. And yeah, that's about it. That's just, so right now our business is actually still open and our business is doing really well at this point because they are an online company and they ship a lot of food items not just nutritional supplements. They have a lot of like gluten-free items oh, and then a lot of like low carb items and stuff. So their business is doing really well. So I was off for a couple of weeks just because I am actually on, um, I take Remicade infusions for ulcerative colitis and that's a biologic drug. And so it kind of really it compromises your immune system. But I was off for a couple of weeks and I ended up going back to work um, so yeah, that's where I work Monday through Thursday in the mornings um, and then off on Fridays. All right, so I don't have, I just use my one cup measuring cup. So we're gonna use a half a cup. We're gonna add four of these to have two cups of powdered sugar in this uh, mixing bowl. Are you natives to your state? Um, so my husband was actually born and raised in New York. I was born in Indiana. And my stepfather was in the military, so we also moved to Tennessee. So I was in Indiana for a couple of years, moved to Tennessee for a year or two, and then moved to Syracuse. So I've been in Syracuse since I was in, I think it was third or fourth grade. And then we've been in New York ever since. Actually, we moved to New Jersey for a couple of years with my husband's job, and then we moved back to New York, and that's where we are now. All right, so I'm going to mix this. Does it say like how long? Sounds or? like a minute. All right, so we're gonna mix this for like a minute. I'm gonna start it real slow so this powdered sugar doesn't go everywhere, which it might anyway, like it is, like it's going to. All right, so in this pan over medium heat, we're going to um, do three more, we're gonna melt three more tablespoons of butter and 10 ounces of marshmallows. So this is a 16 ounce bag. So we'll just do a little bit over half this bag and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so then we just leave this on medium heat. I keep stirring this until it's melted and then we'll add in that peanut butter mixture and until that all combines together. So what have you been doing during quarantine to stay sane? Um, so like I said, I've just basically been doing a ton of house projects. We did the laundry room, we did the master bedroom, trying to like organize some things and, um, but I am still working also. So that for as much as I'm not supposed to by recommendation of my doctor, um, I don't mind it because it, it gets me out of the house. I'm not just home all day. So just between working and house projects and cleaning and organizing, that's really about what I've been doing this whole time. What do your daughters want to do when they finish school? What do my daughters want to do when they finish school? I'll do mine and then you do Anna's. Okay. Um, I want to, I'm studying business and I'm in a concentrations program, so I get to pick like two aspects of business to do. So I'm studying entrepreneurship and maybe marketing. I'm not sure the other concentration yet, but basically I wanna own my own business. So like whatever will help me get there. That's what I'm working What with. kind of business? Tell I'm, me what kind of business. I wanna own, I call it like an animal sanctuary. It's basically like a vet clinic and like an animal adoption place, like all in one. And it has a bunch of different things to it. I have like a notebook of like all the things I want to be in it and stuff like that. So. She has it all planned out. So um, it's awesome too. As you can tell, like with Kova, we're huge animal lovers here. So um, 
Megan has been from the day she has been born. She has taken to our animals and has loved animals ever since. So I knew that some type of business that she owns will probably involve animals in some capacity. So in helping animals in some capacity. So my other daughter is not here. She, like I said, she's writing paper. So, um, she is studying criminal justice. She's actually a first year senior this semester. So she will be graduating a semester early um, next semester. She is in the criminal justice program. I'm not exactly sure what she'll end up doing after she is out, but that is what she is studying for. And that's what her major in college is right now. So this is getting really nice and melted. We're almost there. How, how long have you been married? Uh, my husband and I got married April 30th, 1996. So it will be 24 years in April, on April 30th. So it's safe to say we probably will not be doing much for our anniversary, but that's okay. We'll just cook a nice dinner and hopefully, hopefully it'll be warm out because it was just snowing it's, outside. It is right now too. Yeah, it's snowing. So I think I showed you guys actually a little clip here in the beginning. Um, so. Hopefully it'll be nice out. This whole like quarantine thing wouldn't be so bad if it were to actually be nice weather here so that we could be outside and enjoy it. I mean, we've had some nice days, but it hasn't been continuously warm at all. All right, so then you add this peanut butter mixture in to this and we're gonna just kind of stir it till it's all combined. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little because it's pretty warm. This is not an easy mixture to work with, but. Do your daughters get along and are they alike? Do they get along? Sometimes. They get along. They get along a lot better than they used to get along when they were younger. Um, well, trust me, there's some there's some arguments and some door slamming every once in a while, right, May? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they, they get along pretty well. Now that they're older and like not in high school or anything, I think they definitely have more in common and so they get along um, much better, I think, than they used to. I mean, not that they were ever bad, but they're totally different. They're not alike. They're not alike at all. Like, Megan is a much more kind of sensitive, loves to be with people, and Amanda's like totally opposite. <laughs> she's, not that she's not sensitive, but she's not like overly sensitive. And, you know, she's fine with just like hanging out by herself or whatever sometimes. And Megan loves to be around people. So, um, and Megan can't understand why Amanda doesn't always want to be around her or hang out with her. And <gasps> Megan can't understand, or yeah, Amanda can't understand why does Megan have to be with people all the time? So no, they're not alike, but I think that's what's so awesome. Cause they're both so different and they have their own personalities for sure. And this is getting very sticky. Somebody said they would love to know more about your home and how long you've lived in your current house. Um, so we moved here in 2006, I think. So we have, yeah, so we moved here in 2006. We did not build our house. It was about a year and a half, two years old when we bought it. And so somebody, um, the people that owned it before us, the the gentleman had a job transfer so that's why they sold the house so quickly so basically we had a brand new house for the most part um that we did not build which is good and bad i don't really want to go through the building process but the bad side is there's a lot of things that i would have done differently but you know we're just kind of slowly making it our own and um yeah so we love it we love the neighborhood it's in a small neighborhood there's just two cul-de-sac dead-end cul-de-sacs i think there's a total of 14 or 17 homes in the entire neighborhood so it was like a really great uh, neighborhood for kids to grow up in because th no there was really no through traffic besides people that live here so you knew everybody that always came down the street for the most part so um yeah so we love it and couldn't have thought of a better neighborhood to raise our kids in. All right, so I think this is all mixed. So we are going to now add six cups of, so the recipe calls for rice, uh, cocoa crispies 
I could not find Cocoa Krispies. Like everything was sold out for whatever reason. So we're trying Cocoa Pebbles. I have no idea if they're gonna work, but we're just gonna give it a try and see how it comes out. I mean, they're kind of the same thing. So I think it'll be all right. Okay, this is really hard to mix, but it's delicious because we have taken some bites. There's a lot. Because there, this is gonna make a ton. All right, so we're just gonna spray our hands with a little bit of cooking spray so that this doesn't stick to us. Damn it. So the next question was, who is the neater daughter? Who is the neater daughter? Um. What do you think? What's your take on this? Uh, I don't know. I think it's, is this too big? Well, it's in half inch. <laughs> That's like two inches, but whatever. I think, I, I still think it's me. I think that Amanda has her neat moments, but overall I think I'm neater. Like, all right. So as a kid, Megan was neat, 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 like totally neat. And then I don't know what happened over time. College. College, boyfriend, I don't know, friends, a lot of friends and whatever. Um, she became not as neat, but she's still neat. So she is the first one that would always say, what can I help you clean around the house? Or, still am. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. You're, she is the first one that would oh, say okay. that. Um, Amanda, not, not so much. But Amanda will like get up and make her bed every morning. And do you make it better than me? I pull the sheets up. She pulls because... the sheets up because she's paranoid about spiders in her bed. So she pulls her sheets up so that oh, no. she doesn't have to worry about spiders crawling into her bed. <laughs> but she doesn't make the bed. There's not all the pillows all nice and neat and fluffy on the bed or anything. That's this why is... I only have like three pillows. This is gonna make a ton. So anyways, we're just rolling them into like this size balls. This mixture is delicious. It is to die for delicious. If you guys have ever made, well, we call them Buckeyes, but I think they might be called like peanut butter balls or something. Um, if you guys have ever made those at Christmas time, I have made them here on my channel a couple times or at least once. Um, this is very similar. Just they're not, they're made with regular Rice Krispies. And so they're not as like chocolatey, but I kind of like the chocolate in it. It kind of gives yeah. it a little bit. So, and the, the Buckeyes that we usually make like around Christmas, don't have the marshmallow, right? Right. That's so yes, like you're if right. they're very peanut buttery and stuff, these are just like a little bit they, these are sweeter. These are sweeter, definitely. Way sweeter. They're very sweet, but they're delicious. Yeah. How are you coping with not being able to decor a shop? <laughs> I know that's hard. That's very hard. That's very hard. So I mean, honestly, I'm not like I know my videos have been very sparse. I just don't know what you guys want to see. I mean, I hope you're gonna enjoy this video. The problem is, is that YouTube will not recommend any videos of mine that are not decorating because my niche is a decorating channel. So I don't get great, you know, reviews on these videos. I love making these and this is really all I kind of can make for a little while. I have gotten some like online, I have gotten some stuff online, um, but it's okay. I mean, I have to decorate a couple areas and honestly, I'm getting kind of like a, well, is it? Ashley from Till Vacuum Do His Part says the itch to switch. I'm getting a little bit of the itch to switch just to switch some things around, try some different stuff. I still have to put all my Easter decor away, so probably will do that. So I'll have to kind of, <laughs> okay, there's a lot of cereal on yeah. this. <laughs> I feel like there's a little bit more cereal than maybe I needed in here, but, um, or maybe I just didn't mix it good enough because it was really hard to mix. And we're making a major mess right here, but it's all good. I can't see it. It's all good. Um, so, you know, I, I definitely will have a decorating video or two up because I'll be kind of switching some things around, taking down my Easter decor, and then just kind of playing with some different things. And it's actually kind of a fun way to be able to like shop your home and, sorry, go ahead, to shop your home and kind of play with what you already have and see if you can switch things up if you want to. So it's okay. I mean, I'm definitely missing it. And I just heard, my husband just told me he heard on the news today that they're extending the whole shutdown, at least for here. I don't know if it's everywhere, um, till May 15th. So 
I mean, I'm just saying, I don't know what I'm going to do without TJ Maxx. So. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of a TJ Maxx fan over here. I mean, we both are. Yeah. But. You did that to me. <laughs> How did you start your YouTube channel? Actually, Megan gave me the push, really, to do it. I've always watched YouTube, and I was like, oh, you know, I, I want to do that. But you push it off, and it's never easy. I mean, it's definitely, like, I mean, it still feels awkward at times, but, you know, I'm just used to talking to myself in a camera now. But um, it's definitely just hard because you just need to do it. Like, your first video, like, I look back and I cringe at my first probably 20 videos like yeah. cringe I mean but you have to start somewhere and you're not gonna automatically be like a natural in front of the camera but you have to start somewhere and you know you just kind of have to do it if that's all I mean but you do you do have to have a thick skin to do YouTube I mean you are gonna get some not nice comments and that's just the way it is and I just choose to you know delete those people from my channel and just not even let them watch. I don't, I don't need that in my life. I don't need the negativity. And so you have to kind of be prepared for those kind of comments and just really work hard at trying to let them roll off your back. And that was not, that was probably the one thing I don't like the most is that it just amazes me that not everybody learned the if you can't say something nice, don't say it at all rule. Mm -hmm. Because to me, that was just like bred in me from the time I was young. If you have nothing nice to say to somebody, just don't even say it, <laughs> but whatever. Okay, so while those are cooling in the refrigerator, we will just answer a couple more questions. Okay. Um, how do they like being at home and finishing up the semester online? So, I don't know. I like it, but I don't. I miss my friends and like I miss like being at school because I love my school and I love my dorm, I love my roommate. So I miss all that, but I don't mind not having to wake up early as much because a lot of my classes are just like, this is your work, get it completed by this time. So like, it's not like like strict, like wake up at this time. go. So like that, but it's also sometimes harder that way because then it's not like when it was a set order, like I knew when I had to complete stuff by, but now like, I don't know, it's a little weird. It's like 50-50, like sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't like it. Like I'm not liking this finals thing on yeah. line. But. Well, and not all of her classes necessarily meet online on Zoom. Yeah. You only have like what? I only have two. Two that, that actually yeah. meet as a class on Zoom. Um, otherwise it's a lot of like on your own work, right? Yeah. So that makes it a lot harder because you don't have that one-on-one -on -one or that face-to-face yeah. -face instruction with your Professor. So, definitely is different, but it is what it is. Yeah. Um, have you picked up any new hobbies during quarantine? Decorating. <laughs> just, like I said, I've mostly just been doing home projects, so I haven't really picked up too many hobbies. Like, I am, I'm working and doing a lot of home projects and stuff, so um, no, no, I really haven't. I haven't even had it much of a chance. I love to read. Um, I haven't read really any books, but the problem with me, the reason I haven't read any books is once I find a book that I love, I don't want to put it down. So then everything else goes on hold. I don't get any projects done or anything. I just want to like read those books or read that book. So, um, no, mostly just redecorating the laundry room, working on the master bedroom. I have some DIYs, like I said, we're going to work on one. So a couple like summer DIYs, just trying to use a lot of the stuff that we already have. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I feel like every home project that needed to be done is getting done. <laughs> There's always an, something new. I wake up to a noise. And <laughs> she loves hearing a drill at like yeah. six in the morning. It, hey, I'm a morning person. I'm up at 4:45 with Cove every day. We go for a walk, and then I'm ready to get my day going. Now by eight o'clock at night, I'm tired. Yeah. I'm ready for bed. But opposite. I'm yeah. opposite. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you think you'll ever get Kova a puppy friend? <laughs> Liz. <laughs> Megan's friend Liz. I know she's asking this question. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I think what <laughs> what's really hard is what holds me back the most. Well, A, puppy, the puppy stage is super hard. But 
Um, it is a lot of work and you even realize that like she's always been like puppy 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 and then this was her first real puppy because yeah. of course our other dogs she was they were not puppies when she was born you know so she realizes you know all the work you have to get up how many, you have to get up during the night and let them out and they're just like having a baby so um I would like to I think she would love it yeah I think she would be better with one but I also worry because we have such good harmony between all yeah. our animals right now we have two cats and a dog and they all adore each other and they get along and they play with each other so I wouldn't want to upset the cats that's the only thing one cat the black cat he is like a dog he loves every dog to chase him he thinks it's so funny so he's really like, you would like it he's like a dog but um, I think the only one you would like really need to worry about is Dini. Yeah. Because Houdini's very like... Houdini's typical cat. Yeah. He is like 100% typical cat. He sleeps all day. He wants to be petted when he wants you to pet him. He'll sit on your lap. He wants to sit on your yeah. lap. Like yeah. he's just typical cat. So um, not as amused by a puppy in his face. Yeah. Like, but like but Koba, then again, he or loves Koba. Like, he does. It, oh. When Koba's laying, like, he'll go over and he'll, like, snuggle right up to her and stuff. But, like, if Koba were to come up to him, he would probably run away. Like, yes. it has to be on his own terms. Oh, yeah. They'll go sleep next to him. They both love to bask in the sun. So if there's mm -hmm. a little strip of sunlight coming in no. the house, Koba and Houdini are, like, right next to each other sleeping in the sun. So they do. He adores Koba. And when she had her surgery, he... He was depressed. He was sad. He didn't know where she was. Um, so, I don't know. I just wouldn't want to... I'm not saying no. I'm not saying yes. I just wouldn't want to disrupt the harmony that we have going on with the animals now. But I'm not dis I'm not counting it out. Okay, so we melted... What would you say? So tall you can't even <laughs> see me. <laughs> so we melted this whole pack of these dark chocolate melting wafers in the microwave and so now we are just going to dip these in here put them back on here to harden in the refrigerator for 20 minutes so this recipe was delicious we did have a lot of cereal left at the bottom of the bowl um, I think I just probably didn't use enough marshmallows because I didn't measure them out. So um, otherwise, this was such an easy recipe. We also made the blueberry muffins from the Volume 2 cookbook that day. I did not film it, but they were absolutely amazing as well. So really easy recipes. You guys definitely need to give these a try. Um, I highly recommend that cookbook. So the next thing we're going to work on is a DIY Hello Summer sign for my front porch. I've made a few of these signs on my channel. I made like a Christmas Joy one and a couple others, um, but I did not have a specific summer sign. So I had the wood, so I figured why not? So my husband cut this wood down. It's just a pine board. Cut it down. The length is 52 inches, and it's a 10-inch wide board. So I'm just taking my Waverly chalk paint in white and giving that a quick coat. While that's drying, I am taking letters that spell out summer. These are eight inch letters from Walmart. Um, for the U though, my husband made me with his laser engraver at work, a watermelon slice. Um, I did find one that looks almost identical on Amazon. So I will put that in my Amazon store if you're interested in making this, but you could also use a stencil or you could freehand if you are good if you are an artist you could freehand it you could maybe find a large sticker watermelon sticker so you definitely don't need the wood cut out if you don't want it so this is my oldest daughter Amanda she didn't want her face shown she had just come back from a run but she's super artistic so I put her to work painting the watermelon slice for me so once this is done, we are going to glue everything on to the large board. So my daughter just finished painting it, so now it's going to dry. And then what, you have to do the seeds, right? Yeah. And then she'll do the seeds of the watermelon. And then we will be gluing everything, all of this, onto that board. So the next thing I did was I went on my Cricut, found a font that I liked, and just made the word hello in the size that I wanted. I just measured to see what would be the best. 
and I printed that out in the red vinyl. And so then I am just going to put that, you know, kind of figure out how I want it to go on the board with all the letters on there. I did not glue the letters on yet, but I just kind of set the, everything there to see how I wanted it to go. And then I am just going to put the word hello on there using the transfer tape. And then from there, I will just be gluing down all of the letters. So again, this is super easy. Uh, my daughter just took a black Sharpie to fill in the seeds of the watermelon. So again, I painted those black letters in ink, the Waverly Chalk paint in ink. So you could customize this however you want. You don't have to use a watermelon slice. I've seen ones with pineapples and that's really cute. So you can really just do this however you want in any colors that you want. But I just think it'll be a perfect addition to the front porch and to help decorate it a little bit for summer. So this was a super easy project, very inexpensive. Um, you could even just stencil all the letters on. You don't have to use wood cutouts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, I hope you will subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. Feel free to leave down in the comments below any other videos you'd like to see, especially during this time. Um, I will have some decorating videos coming up though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video.